spread. <clears throat> I'm going to do a few poses that I haven't done for a little bit. I'm going to mix them up as well, just a touch. This uh, first one is just trying to get my shoulders to open a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm pulling my arm over and up. Okay. Alexa, three minute timer. I'm additionally curling my toes under. That's not part of this pose. I'm just going to stretch my toes a bit as well. Oh, wow. I've got my fingers touching. That's surprising. I have an idea for a pose I might try after this. Is it really any different though than Hangman? Just a modified version. In fact, it is the modified version of Hangman. Never mind. I don't need to do that. Well, hello, Penny. Oh, hello, Chesh. Sorry. Penny's on the couch. So this is, with my ankles, this is dorsiflexing with hyperextension of my toes. And so I'm stretching my toes really nicely, which allows me to use my toes for gripping when I'm practicing Tai Chi or Bagua or whatever. <clears throat> it also helps with balance quite a bit. But if uh, you're used to wearing either an elevated heel of any kind, even a small, like a, even a running shoe or uh, small toe box shoes, your toes may not spread very well. So this might look quite painful, but uh, it's worth fixing your feet. It's amazing how much flexibility you can get in your feet. I had no idea. And that's just from the toe stretching. The dorsiflexing of my ankles, just a bonus. Though it does help. It used to be that I would roll out my ankle and it would just hurt. Now if I roll out my ankle, I don't even it doesn't bother me at all actually. I built up enough ankle strength that I'm protected, or both strength and flexibility. Alexa, stop. Penny, ma'am. Ooh. <clears throat> Where did Chesh go? I didn't even see. Yeah. Now, Penny, you know, you and Chesh could hang out if you would just take a chill pill, honey. Okay, give me a kiss. Goofball. I know you're not going to hurt him, but he doesn't necessarily know that yet, though he could take you. He's got claws. They've all got claws. And that's why you have a scratch on your nose, young lady. All right. Enough of the... And now I'm going to plantar flex. So... Dorsey, plantar. Plantar pointing. Dorsey, not pointing. <clears throat> Same thing. I'm going to pull my arm over and up. Push my shoulder back. There we go. Alexa, three minute timer. Mm. 
wow, I, you know, I'm kind of surprised that I can do that. I've been doing this for a while. And... <sighs> it's rare that I can do that. Oh my gosh. Well, hot damn. What have I been doing that would have helped my shoulders? Ah, I bet you it's the uh, Phoenix Qigong. Is really good. I don't think my fingers, though, are strong enough to hold. Ah. I've never been able to do this. This is the first. So, I think the Phoenix Qigong... Oh, yeah, that, that entirely makes sense. So, the Phoenix Qigong when I'm holding on to something on my palm, which forces me to really slowly move a shoulder, has probably helped my shoulders quite a bit. I've got to say, this is really intense. That's not really intense. It's uncomfortable, actually. That was definitely hyperbole. About to lose my hands. Oh, my forearms are screaming. Alexa, stop. Hot dang. I made it. Oh, oh. Slow, 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 slow. Yikes. That was. Uh, Yeah, that was good. That was really, really good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump into... Uh, Mr. How you think Elsa's shoulder? Actually, I'm going to try something really quick. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what has been improving my shoulder mobility right there. So that's the Phoenix pose. And let's see if I can keep this on my hand. I normally don't do this on my knees. Okay. That was relatively easy. Do one more each side. Oh, actually, you know, that's quite a bit easier since I just did that pose. Aha. So, given that this is so much easier, and I'm still I mean, I'm able to do that pose more deeply on both sides, even though I couldn't lock my hands on the first side. These are definitely complementary. This is the dynamic version, and that's the static version. All right. I like when I learn stuff. 
Okay. All right. You can do hip stuff. Okay, Penny? Time to do some hip stuff. Let's see. I'm going to do pigeon. Oh my gosh, these socks are terrible. They're embarrassing. Of course, my feet are probably worse. You can chew on my socks, that's fine. Alexa, five minute timer. Get a little bit higher. I think I want to push back more. Whatever I want right there, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice right there. Oh, that's perfect. Melting in the right direction. Gowser. So I uh took uh I don't know three days off of taking my normal supplements and uh MSM and magnesium and many forms of magnesium both of which help you one of them msm helps with the nervous system and magnesium helps with muscle relaxation apparently when you get an iv it often was either it already has magnesium or they they inject magnesium to calm you down so uh, i can notice i can definitely notice that that's helping again and another thing I'll just mention, I take uh, salmon seven mushrooms, and I don't, I can never list them off, but uh, shiitake, turkey tail. I also take tremelia, which is not one of them, lion's mane, cordyceps M, and you know, whatever else. And um, I hadn't taken them for three or four days, and I noticed my body was feeling sore and fatigued, so... Stamen Seven is very is a really excellent collection of mushrooms for um, healing your body, giving you energy, giving your uh, helping you with ATP, the production of energy that by the mitochondria. Uh, three or four of them, four or five of them are adaptogens, which means they're more balancing. They bring you into uh, a good a good place of homeostasis, and. When I don't take those, I start to have fatigue and I get tired. And when I take them, I'm fine. Oh, this is very nice. I don't want to rest. I want, to, I want this to stay intense for the entire time. Oh. And you might think that resting pigeon where I'm all the way on the ground might be more intense. It all depends on what you're trying to hit. So I'm getting a great pull on the front 
of my left leg. So my quads, my left quads. I'm getting my glutes involved here, right here. Really getting a nice, intense stretch. Also up here. And relax a little more. Alexa, stop. Let's see how this feels for a second. Okay. Oh, oh, shush, shush. Just flatten my body more than usual. Okay, I'll do the other one in the other direction. And I do my left side a little bit differently with more props. Okay. Actually, the same number of props just used differently. I'm going to try without the brick first, but I don't know how that's going to go. Okay. Oof, this leg is stiff. So I'm going to use the brick because I'm going to need it. There we go. And I'm going to move forward a little bit. There we go. And hold this for a little bit, and then I'll start the timer. Actually, I'm just going to... Alexa, three-minute timer. I'm going to do a couple of timers on this. I'm just going to use the three-minute timer to decide to adjust. That's pretty good right there. Alexa, add three minutes to the timer. Okay, that's good. So that's about two minutes so far. And I did add three minutes, so I'm going to do six minutes on this side because it's the less of the two, less of the, it's more renegade side, not as flexible. I have a thinner bullet brick. I do have thinner bricks, but I don't have one here. 
you know, have an alternative handy. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, I don't have anything. Okay, well, I'm going to try it without the brick. Because, yeah. Something deep is happening. Just back here. Oh, that is definitely my psoas muscle. Oh, dang, that's too intense. Oh, got to pull back. If I if I let that go very long, I'm just going to have a strong uh, reflex response, and I'll just be defeating the purpose. It'll just, it'll just hurt, and won't be doing myself any good. Oh man, that is intense, though. Wow. Alexa, stop. <clears throat> Ouch. Ooh.
hero. A lightning bolt. Do I need to start with the pillow? I think I will. Alexa, five minute timer. Alexa, stop. Alexa, hang up. Alexa, play. Alexa, five minute timer. I need to check to see if I called my phone. I need to see if it's uh, still recording. I'll start. Alexa, cancel timer. Still recording. That was truly an amazing miss. All right, let's do this again. I want to start with the pillow still. Okay, Alexa, five minute timer. No, I'm not going to do that. So again, plantar flexing of the ankles, hyperextension, sorry, sorry, uh, fully, uh, fully flexing, hyper, hyperflex, I think this would be hyperflexing of the knees a little bit. Now, my butt is on the ground, so if I wanted to, I can start to lean back. I'm not going to just yet. And leaning back, you don't get any more bonus points. I do it because it can be comfortable to a point, like for example, just this. A bit easier to hold, actually. Also, you get a much, well, it definitely turns the stretch up on the front of both my legs there. So a nice quad stretch. Yeah, I'm sort of like just letting my belly drop and shoulders drop. And again, it keeps the intensity on the front of my legs up. And it doesn't take any effort to hold. Let's see how let me see if it's more comfortable if I go a little further back. I forgot that was there. That's about as far back as I can go before I start to tweak my lower back. So still have some issues.
approaches. Ooh, that changes. Alexa, stop. Changes it back up a little bit. Okay, here we go. I just push them off a little bit and let the blood flow return to the knees. I think I'm going to stay here just a bit. knees I'm not liking that no I've actually the knees are fine hello kitty <clears throat> All right, well, is there anything else I'm going to do tonight? I don't know if I can do a squat because of what I just did to my knees. Let's see here. I might do a pillow assist here. <clears throat> Gonna use a heel assist instead. There we go. Hmm. Right now, reduce the heel at least a bit. All right. I'm trying to keep my feet as parallel as I can. That's more of a Tai Chi thing. Normally, you'd have your feet turned out a little bit on this one, it makes it a little bit easier.
both my feet are slightly turned out. I'm not going to do anything about that. Now, slightly more reasonable squat. The squat's a functional movement that we've lost in American society. We just don't use these muscles. We sit on a chair all the time. We sit on the toilet. I only recently started working on the squat. All the other poses in the standard classic science of stretching program loosen you up so that you can do squat it. The modified version of the program has a couple different versions of squats, or at least one. Maybe maybe there's a second one. I think there's two. There's four different weeks in the program. Is that enough, Chesh? What do you think? Okay, now I have to push up. This is going to be painful a little bit. Let's see. Did I cheat? Actually, I think I'm going to probably just sit down here because I'll cut my head off on the camera. I do a camel. Excuse me, good sir. Let's start light. This is not the way to get out. I want to get the camel this way. <sighs> oh. Okay. 